Try hard. Wait, what's up, Pizza Boss? I'm in the process of looking for RC trucks. <laughs> what's your fleet? It kind of sucks that I found my old RC truck. I had it back in 2010, I think. Which kind of sucks. They don't sell it no more. But right here is what it used to be. Right there. That's my baby right there. And when I seen it, I had to have it. But it's just kind of unavailable. So I'm gonna keep this thing. Cause it's currently unavailable. We don't know when this item will be back or back in stock. Now, when I bought it from, I got it actually up in Toledo at what was it called? Hobby Town USA, I think. Very nice place. And that's used for 450 bucks. But that's not the box that mine came in. It was made by AE. But since I find it here, I had to switch these parts here. Wow, 80 bucks. But I don't know if that's for my truck or not. But there's some pretty cool trucks on here. Right here. That's what mine used to look like. Right there. He's got the Renzo motor and everything in it, which. No, oh, that has a different motor. What? He upgraded his. I didn't know you could do all that. Wow. He's got a different motor. I never knew you could upgrade. Looks like you even upgrade the suspension. Because I don't know if mine had two like that or not. But I had to go find it down here. And I finally found it after I googled RC Mazda trucks. And where did I find it? Uh, right there. Right there. I even had a Netter RC car just to mess around with because my motor was junk. Well, back then, it was a lot of money for one of these nitro vehicles. I paid, it originally price was eight ninety nine for it, for this guy right here, brand new. Never been opened, never been out of the box. And... I paid, well, I paid $4.99 for it, well, my dad did, but I had to pay my dad back. Because, uh, it was very nice. We got, yeah, right here, this is what the motor looked like in mine. Exactly just like that. But he upgraded some other stuff on his motor. Which is pretty cool, they sound pretty cool. Okay, yeah, you see the springs right there. So that was an actual endeavor from feature, that's not bad. But Nitro RC vehicles are nice to have, but one thing, right there, no way that, uh, I think that area is where your batteries are going to. Now this, I think, let me think here, uh, yeah, the batteries will go right here, you pull that up and you take the batteries out of it, it took like two or four, two or four double A batteries. The remote here takes about, what the heck, the remote took about eight of them, I think, because they go right down here, but when your batteries die, have fun trying to catch your truck, because they open throttles, but as you guys can see, the A-arms up here, no wait, I'm sorry, wrong part. Up here, I always broke, I think it was my driver, pa passenger side, yeah, it's always the passenger side I break. Later on, I upgraded about the third time, I got to run back on tour of Toledo and get these. I upgraded to living them. And after that, I never had any problems. But well, right here is your transmission. I ripped every single gear in that transmission. And I couldn't go forward, I couldn't go reverse, it sucked. It was a three speed transmission. You can hit up to 55 mile an hour and plus, which is pretty cool. Now, if you had the original box, then maybe we worth it. Wow, that gear looks, dang, that looks nice. Uh, that's the plastic gear I ripped out, broken half. Oh no, that ain't the gear, it was in transmission. 
Oh, it does have two socks. Okay. Ah, that's a plus then. Frame looks really scraped up. Mine was in better condition than his was, even though how many times I'll flip it. But, brand new in the box. Got home, put the nitro gas in it. Wanted to start it up, put the gold plug in it, and it would not turn over. Take it back to the people, have them try to get it started, would not start either. So, I had to do is buy a new RC motor for it. There's another 100, 200 bucks right there. Hey, right there. Horizon, that's funny. That's exactly what my A arms look like for bottom top. I had a flag somewhere, but I don't know what I did the flag. I lost it. Well, I'm thinking about getting back into RC trucks and stuff. I thought it'd be kind of cool to get back into what I used to have. Because I had no problems whatsoever, but when I ripped the gear, all the gears out, oops, out of the transmission, I wanted to clean the frame. So I took my brand new motor I took uh, bought for it, ran fine. I had to put power, first power for the uh, transmission to take. But so far, these ain't bad. I mean, for this starter set, I call it starter set, because you get, looks like you get the go plug. Right there. Uh, crap. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, this is your gold plug. This is helps get the uh, tires and uh, the tires off. Uh, that will be looks like the gas for it. Usually, it takes about two two percent, two point zero percent gas or ten percent. But the blue is the twenty percent gas for nitros. And on there, the controller, you can adjust or idle to if you want. Same thing with the truck. You can adjust your, it's just like a little um, normal motor. You adjust the carburetor and stuff like that. A lot of fun. I miss it. But I don't really like Traxxas because my brother had a brand new Traxxas. And he went through the motor. It's like nothing. So I had a, like, almost like a toy RC car like this, but smaller version. I tossed those tires until they're bald. Ooh. 199 bucks. What do you get with it? That might be a deal. Wow. No, it doesn't really take up too much gas either. Hmm. That might be a deal. 20 bucks to ship it. For four wheel drive high speed remote. Oh, that ain't bad. That'd be kind of cool to get one of these though. I think these, I like to get like a rock collar type deal because our backyard is. That's battery operated, I could tell. And how can I tell? Right there. That little motor inside. <laughs> I used to have battery operated. Waterproof and everything. Yep, just like this, right here. Mine was all waterproof, but that little switch I burned up in the snow. I don't like waterproof my butt. So I turned around, sold the whole truck. I sold it real cheap. But now I want to get back into nitro because nitro is a little bit better to me than battery operated. Um, more funner too, I was that, uh, but the battery eats it. But, yeah, this is what I'm thinking about getting back into. I'd really like to have one like my truck here. And I cleaned the frame. I took the off part, cleaned the frame up, left it out. My brother did it for me, and we left it outside on the wood pile. Well, we figured nobody would steal it. Everything was gutted off of it. All it was is the tires, the axles. The only thing that was not on it was the motor, transmission, and all this other front stuff. That was it. Gas tank was off of it, but everything else was on the frame. Cause my, it was all covered in dirt and grease and mud. And someone stole my frame. So I said, screw it. So I kept the rest of my stuff, but I ended up rinsing and throwing away. I kept the motor, and then recently, this, not this year, last year I think it was, I finally got around and Sold my motor, I sold it for 50 bucks, even though I paid like 150 or something like that for the motor. But it did a pretty good job. And I'm going to have another video came, coming out tonight. 
So I'll be, be, be eyes watching that too, guys. This might be a deal. I don't know really if it is or not. But I think I have that uh, my favorites as well. I like keep my eyes on open for one of those trips too. And then so what it's originally called was um since I find the truck again right here, but it's actually special edition is what it said, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, right here, special edition R, you know, but I was like, okay, and I didn't know it was one of them special editions, but I don't know, I really don't know. It's so hard to remember anything about it. But I'm just looking to see what kind of different trucks I can find and what's cheap enough to buy. Because I have to get the gas, I gotta get the gold plugs, which that's actually not a bad deal. Comes with all that for 309 bucks. But you can get some cheap. I like going on eBay to find my stuff or Amazon, but. Yep, that's my old truck. I miss it too. I have a lot of fun with that truck. But anyway, this video that's going to be coming out next is my snowplow, not snowplow video, sledding video right up here. So, there's a little preview. <laughs> uh, the quality, the uh, camera is not too bad, but you hear that little knocking, knocking. Pretty cool and pretty fun. Uh -huh. My daughter. So. Stay tuned for that video. I'll see you guys later.